Okay, full disclosure, it's not a magic suitcase. It's just a vintage one from the 50s I got on eBay. But that thing followed me around in the seminar trail for years, holding all the tools and toys I wanted to share during the talk. So I thought I'd pull some of those tools and toys out of that magic suitcase and share them with you. First up, paper switching dice. Oh yeah. If you have students switch papers to correct in class, you might want to add this toy to your routine. I'll give you three specific reasons why in just a bit. But first, let me give you the background here. I made these dice from a pair of wooden cubes I found in a math kit. So I grabbed two cubes out of the math kit, grabbed a black Sharpie marker, and on one cube I wrote L's and R's for right and left. And the other cube I wrote 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So on both cubes, all six sides were covered. Now you put these two dice together, and you have a plan for switching papers. One tells them which direction to pass the papers, and the other how many spaces. For the record, my students sat together like this, this is called a pod, for one team which made switching papers a circular affair. If that's not your seating arrangement, just work with your students as to who's in the group and the path the papers are to follow. Now I kept these dice in a clear plastic container. So all I had to do to use it was grab the container, shake it, turn it upside down, and announce what I was seeing to the students. Now, why would you want to use this toy and not your voice to get kids to switch papers? Well, a couple of reasons, I three actually. Here's the first one. You'll never hear this again. I don't know what it is with some kids that they can't seem to find someone to switch with, but it happens and it's annoying. No, the dice come in and create some order. Removes all the uncertainty as to how papers should be switched. And no one ends up with his own paper. That's a good thing. Second reason, the sound of the dice being shaken in the container replaces your voice. I think any time you can replace your voice and use a nonverbal cue, it's beneficial to everyone in the classroom, part of that happy, productive classroom environment that the teacher's not talking quite so much. And the third one is just kind of an autonomy self-direction thing. As the students on each team work together to process the switching of papers according to what the dice told them to do. Working together in this way in little ways, it, it leads to working together in big ways. It's sad, but the research says the number two reason people get fired from their jobs as adults, they can't get along with their co-workers. So let's get kids working together a bit better in the classroom with routines. Helps a lot. And by the way, the number one reason people get fired from their jobs, absenteeism, being tardy. Now, after you've used this for a while, you might want to give it to a student and put him in charge of it. And whenever you need to switch papers, just give your student dice manager a little nonverbal cue. And the student will grab the container and shake it. Now oh, that's an attention getter right there. And then he'll announce to everybody the direction and the number of space to go. But before too long, switching papers becomes automatic. As I've maintained for years, when routines are automatic, things work better in the classroom. Happy and productive, that's what we're all about. Hey, thanks for watching.